Hey guys, Steve Harmon here. Um, we had one of our customers request a video. He wanted to see what a keyboard, a CV keyboard would do with our DS8 drum synth. And uh, I'll show you over here the DS8 drum synth. This is uh, four of them, four of our DS8 drum, uh, space drum synths that I've racked up and kind of my own do-it-yourself little deal. Um, so we're just going to be using one of them today, this top row, to kind of show you how this works. And what I'm using down here is I'm using my Keith McMillan Q-Nexus. Um, what's nice about this guy right here is it kicks out um, CV and a gate, and I don't have to worry about uh, going through a MIDI CV converter or anything like that. So it really saves me a little bit of time and fun and portable. I would totally recommend getting one of these. So I'm just going straight into the DS8 out of um, this gate and CV1 output. Got two cords here. As you can see, as they're connected over here to the DS8 right here, um, you'll see that this is the CV output of that Q Nexus. And this is the gate output, which is going into my trigger. So it will work to give its own little um, uh, envelope um, with all the different controls. I mean, it's, you can play it as a little synth. What we're really testing here today, though, is to see how it tracks. And um, excuse me there, I hit a note. Um, with the Q-Nexus and with your, your CV, uh, it, it doesn't exactly track perfectly one volt per octave, except for the fact that it looks like one octave and maybe a little more will work and can be tuned in. So the knobs you want to use to kind of tune in this to be able to make it sort of one volt per octave are this, the sweep knob here and the mode knob and also the VCO knob at some point depending on what you want to tune your oscillator to sound like. So this is obviously more than um, just uh, a little synth here you can also I mean it can almost be a full voice in itself not filtered but there is modulation and there's uh, a lot of a lot of great things you can do just putting this on a keyboard so I'm gonna show here I've tuned in using my sweep knob and my mode knob and the VCO to be able to get this right here and I'll play a little small C scale let's go all the way up nope five notes so far that are close Oops. So you don't get a full octave there. Let's go back over here and try to tune some stuff in. No. Well, that's probably as close as I'm going to get it. Let's see here, which is not very good. Nope. Let's go down an octave, see what that does. Those are two octaves. Not there either. Closer. Okay, um, it's going to increase the pitch of the oscillation when you do affect the sweep here, but you can get kind of another lower octave-ish, maybe five notes. Can't get seven, let me try. Or eight, nope. Nope, that's not going to work. So, um, you can you can see here that we can get some tracking, you know, and, and it's not all over the place, but you'll have to kind of tune in every five notes or so. Not super ideal, um, but great for making some noise. So I'll go through some of these and see, uh, I'll go through some different knobs and see kind of hear what that'll make uh, them sound like so you can get some different fun. So VCO, obviously. We can tune that in, obviously. Another way to oscillate here, modulate the sound is through this mode. Let's change the rate, make it a little slower. Sweep here will also affect some of the pitch. And we can have a decay here, which is great. So we can just put that part of the envelope, have really long decays. And you can even play the noise. Really 
real long decay, real long decay. They're really short too, it makes them more percussive sounds. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. Um, so here's my conclusion with this. I'd say, hey, it's a, the, the, the DSA is a drum synth. It's not necessarily intended to track. It does track about five, maybe six notes if you're lucky. You're gonna have to tune in the octave where you're out though to be able to get those five notes because it's gonna slip all the way down the board. So useful, I'd say, for making some noises, but actually being spot on, you're not gonna get more than five notes. Thanks for watching.